Exam review question related to halogenation of alcohols. Write the full mechanisms for the following reactions. Include all charges and the lone pairs involved in the reaction. Indicate movements of electrons with appropriate curved arrows. So these two reactions involve using an alcohol as the substrate and forming an alkyl bromide or an alkyl chloride, which is inverted at the chiral center. The reagents that we use are PBr3 to form the alkyl bromide and SLCl2 with pyridine as the base for alkyl chlorides from alcohols. The solvent for PBr3 is usually inert. Now the first step in the reaction is the nucleophilic attack of oxygen onto the phosphorus and phosphorus tribromide. So we draw our reactant alcohol and in the presence of PBr3 the electron rich oxygen can donate a pair of electrons and attack the phosphorus and PBr3 which then causes one bromine to be lost from the compound as a leaving group. So the result is we have an OH group directly attached to PBr2. In the second step, bromine can act as a nucleophile and attack this intermediate right here. And it turns out PBr2OH is a very good leaving group. So upon attack from the front in this case, in a typical SN2 reaction, PBr2OH can leave the compound and establish a neutral system. So let's start out by drawing the first intermediate, and we draw the bromide, which then attacks from the front in this case, causing inversion, and the release of the leaving group. Bromine attacks from the front, and the electrons flow back to the oxygen, which results in a substituted bromine on a wedge, and PBr2OH. And that's the mechanism, it's two steps. In step one, the OH, as a part of the alcohol, nucleophilically attacks the phosphorus, causing one bromide to leave phosphorus tribromide to form the PBr2OH group on a dash and bromide ion. In step two, the bromide ion acts as a nucleophile and expels dibromohydroxyphosphane, which is a good leaving group. The bromine then establishes out front, resulting in chiral inversion, and we get our alkyl bromide. Now this reaction is similar in that we start with the OH group and we form a halide that is inverted relative to the OH group. In this case we use thionyl chloride and pyridine as the base. And just like with PBr3, the OH group, which is electron rich, can attack thionyl chloride, specifically the sulfur, in the first step. So let's draw our reactant alcohol and thionyl chloride. And what happens is the electron-rich oxygen attacks the sulfur, causing the expulsion of one of these chlorine leaving groups. So electrons flow from the OH to the sulfur, and one leaving group is expelled. So the result is we form a chloride anion, and this charged intermediate, that's one step from becoming a sulfur-based ester. So in order to form that ester moiety, pyridine, which acts as a decently strong base, can come and deprotonate this compound, rip off this proton, to form an uncharged neutral intermediate. And it acts as a base because this lone pair occupies an sp2 orbital, which can donate its electrons and accept a hydrogen, a proton, and the electrons flow back to the oxygen on the original compound. The deprotonation is reversible, and we form this uncharged intermediate. And we form the pyridinium cation. Even though this deprotonation step in theory is stabilizing, it turns out this compound is somewhat unstable and can spontaneously decompose. The spontaneous decomposition forms SO2 gas and our alkyl chloride with the inverted chiral center. So the chlorine projects out front on a wedge and we form SO2. To do this, the initiator of the spontaneous decomposition is the flow of electrons in the carbon-oxygen bond into the sulfur-oxygen bond, 
which forms the precursor SO2 in the transition state. This flow of electrons kicks out this chloride leaving group. Now the release of the chloride anion means that it can attack this carbon here, which becomes partially positive due to the loss of electrons between the carbon-oxygen bond. So the chloride can come in and establish in the front by front-side attack. So again, the net result is that we have an inverted chiral center and an alkyl chloride from the alcohol.